peace everyone thank you so much for joining me here today so i wanted to talk about something that i was like meditating on during my walk um and that is naive beliefs set you up for abuse um potentially <laughs> potentially and i share this because i was reading jordan peterson's 12 rules for life and he said that in his book and i had to think about some of my experiences and um, growing up and really just wanting to see the best in everyone wanting to see the best in the world and so when certain things would happen to me um when i would go through like when i went through my first friendship backstabbing type of thing and i would share that with my mom and my grandma and they would share with me, Christina, not everyone is like you. <laughs> not everyone has a heart like yours. You have to be mindful. There are wolves in sheep's clothing. And they would say these things to me, but it really wouldn't register. So I would find myself in these situations where um, I just couldn't believe, I couldn't fathom why someone would treat me a certain type of way. Um, why a certain uh, a person would do certain things to me or to other people and it would really dampen my spirit because I just couldn't wrap my mind around the how and so when I heard that when I heard Jordan Peterson say that naive beliefs lead to abuse I really had to sit there and like marinate in that comment because in some ways I feel that that's true when we want it's like looking at the world with rose colored glasses we want to see the best in everything but that doesn't mean that that is realistic that doesn't mean that we're seeing what we're seeing properly you know it's like putting on your glasses and you see a lion these rose colored glasses and you see a lion Yes, they make the lion look more pretty, <laughs> but it doesn't take away the fact that we're looking at a lion and this is a potential predator to us. And so um, it's very important to take those rose colored glasses off. Stop assuming that everyone is going to treat you how you treat people, how you were probably raised. You know, we live on a planet with over 7 billion people. And if you're living in the States, there's so many people here that have been raised different types of ways. And some people have been raised and brought up with certain morals and values and how you show up in your community. These things are very important, how you show up for your family. These things are very important. And another person could be raised, you know, with different morals and values, but they might look different. You know, in one environment, you have to be um, more direct, more tough. Uh, in another environment, if you come off with that tough, direct energy, it might be taken as um, disrespect. And so we have to be mindful of the cultures that we come from. But we also have to learn how to set boundaries. And even if you're a person who wants to see the best in everything, wants to be an optimist, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be lighthearted about life. But we also have to be aware how things affect us. You know, we have to be aware how things affect us. I used to have... I used to know someone, you know, and I would I would share certain things with them and they're like, oh, um, I choose to see the positivity of this situation. And in some ways, I felt like when they would say that after I shared something like very vulnerable, maybe it could seem a little dark um, <laughs> or emotional. Um I, I felt like they were uh, deflecting what it was that I was like sharing, um, what I was going through. And, you know, I feel now that both both situations, both parties, me and the other person, we were valid in our expressions, you know, and 
both realities are very, very real. And I think that is for both people to acknowledge, like, yes, this is the this is the fire that I'm going through. And then the other person's like, yeah, but through the fire, you know, there is a light, you know, that we can focus on. But the other person, even though, you know, through the fire, there's a light that we can focus on. We also have to acknowledge that, okay, through this fire, it burns, it's, it's hot. And, you know, um, I think that's where empathy comes in. Um, but getting back to what I was saying, like naive beliefs, we have to wake up and start seeing people for who they truly are, who they show up as, not who we want them to be, not some fantasy that we have in our in our minds, but who they're showing up as, um, what they're saying, um, what they're doing, um, and make sure that those things are in alignment with what we value, what we want, how we want to be treated, because having these naive beliefs, believing, wanting to believe the best in everyone and literally ignoring who people show you that they are will literally lead you down a road of losing yourself. It will lead you down a road of bitterness and um resent resentfulness you know um because eventually you do start to resent these people you you do start to feel a bit bitter about your experiences because now you're doing comparison things and now you're trying to figure out why this is happening and trying to make sense of it all and we know how the mind works y'all we could take certain things and just run with it but um so we have to start seeing people for who they truly are. And if that is in alignment with what we want in our lives, cool, keep it, you know, bring it closer. But if it's not, then disregard it. Stay away from it. It's only foolish to allow abuse in your life when we live in a world where we have the choice of what we have in our environments. Now, you might be in a situation where, you know, there's only so much that you can choose. You know, you got to choose the lesser of an evil, whatever. But like, it's a journey. It's a process. And just keep in mind that, you know, uh, it's not wise to stay in situations where they're, is abuse and you have to second guess yourself and you're tolerating negative energy uh for the sake of wanting to see the best in someone like oh they're not so bad the moment you start making excuses for someone is the moment that you should just cut them off because that affects you psychologically emotionally mental like it affects you and um i know for me since i was a child um, just growing up with a narcissistic, um, stepfather. And I would argue my mom had some of those qualities. I feel like everybody who's been brought up in the States is on the narcissistic scale, you know? So, <laughs> and me being raised in that home, like, I'm pretty sure I developed some qualities of narcissism as well. Um, but being raised in that type of environment, I've noticed in my adulthood that I had a cycle of being in situations, um, being in situations where I was extending a great amount of grace um, for people who were abusing abusing me. And I wanted to see the best in them. I was looking at their potential and I wasn't looking at who they were showing me that they were. So I was tolerating the lies. I was tolerating um, being yelled at or being treated a certain type of way. And eventually, once I came to the source of, okay, 
where is this stemming? Where where does this energy come from? Literally, I went back to my childhood, my childhood, and those experiences and feeling like I couldn't escape it because those were my parents. But being an adult, we kind of forget that because when we go through these things, our brain it's like we become a child again, in a sense, you know, at least in my case, this is how I'm trying to explain and make sense of it for, to share with you guys. And I hope that it makes sense. But it's like going back to that child self and you start to believe that there's nothing that you can do about it. That this is just the way that it is, that this person, they're not that bad. It could be worse. And that's where I want that line of thinking to just Take it and rip it out of your consciousness because there is better and that better starts with you, you know. First of all, we shouldn't be seeking love outside of ourselves because there's, no, it comes from within. And it's also not our duty, our job to show up as a person trying to save a person or trying to fix a person because when we do that, in reality, the person that needs saving and fixing is the self. Because now we're externalizing things and we know that, well, the only person that I can love unconditionally is myself. I have to live with myself. I have to live with myself for all of eternity. <sighs> and when I share my love is unconditional. However, when it comes to relationships, I do have conditions on how I relate to other people. If there's a lack of respect in the relationship, then I have to, or abuse in the relationship, this relationship is reflecting a lack of love. So based on that, I have to assert, uh, I have to assert certain conditions. I have to refocus my mind and direct my mind on where the beauty's at on where the love's at instead of staying in a place that is a reflection of abuse that's not love so yes being naive is not going to get you anywhere just hoping and praying and wishing for the best for someone when they're constantly showing you who they are and abusing you, um, not respecting you, it's not going to get you anywhere. It is better to be alone than to be in abusive situations. Again, these things can affect you psychologically. They can affect your ability to um, trust to be creative, to be who you were called to be, who you were created to be. We don't get to experience our best selves when we're in these type of dynamics. It's better to be alone. And we have to remember that and be comfortable with that. And we have to be a person that we like, you know, um, and typically again this naivety falling into these dynamics there is something that needs to be healed there is something that needs to be looked on within our psychological makeup as to okay what is it about me that is attracting this energy what is it about what i'm thinking and what i'm feeling and what i believe about me that is allowing me to resonate and wanting to be involved in my abuse? It's a good question. So I want to leave you guys with that. I want to leave you guys with that. And I want to say have a beautiful day. Because it is a beautiful day. And... um you know, make sure you take every single opportunity to 
express gratitude for you, to celebrate you, to honor you, to show up for you, and to love you unconditionally, to forgive you. Because no matter what, again, the world, life goes on. People come and go. (laughs) People come and go. You are forever. You are going to be with you for the rest of your life. (laughs) And so why not honor you? Why not take care of you? Why not prioritize your peace and your wellness rather than put it outside of yourself and you get last? Again, people can come and go. It doesn't matter if it's your partner, your husband, your children, your parents, they come and go. They can choose to leave and not be present with you at any point, but you have to be present with you. So why not prioritize loving yourself? And all it takes is I forgive myself for X, Y, and Z. And no matter what, I choose to love myself unconditionally. That's all that it takes. You just repeat that affirmation until you believe it, until you feel it, until you start to see the light that is inside of you and be able to separate who you are and what you see. And understand that you cannot attach yourself to chaos and dysfunction. If it's ca- if, why would you want to be a reflection of that? Why? And yeah, I feel like I can go go on and on, but I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. And yeah, guys. Um. Let me know if you've had any experience with this energy. Let me know if you dealt with it and how you were able to get through it. Let me know if you're in the midst of it. If you are trying to get out of um, just this naive way of thinking of wanting to see the best in everyone. And I, I know one of my things was, well, we are we're all one. You know, everything is me. And so... You know, with that line of thinking, it's like, I want to save myself through the other person. But it's like, no, (laughs) you got to learn to let go. So tell me what you guys think in the comment. Comments, guys. Um, Have a beautiful day. Peace.